Hello everyone. Dear students, today I am going to discuss with you that is the account of holding companies, accounting standard 21. So see here, uh, what does mean by holding company? First we have to answer basic questions regarding meaning of holding companies, then why it is a need for a holding companies we have to answer these questions so basically we holding company means the company which have the more than 50 percent of shares in another one company so that is a holding company then why it is a need it is a why it is need that is a questions we have to answer first uh, we have to think that is the existing firms mainly focuses on growth so that growth is going to be possible uh, that is uh, by acquisition or combinations of uh, existing firms that acquisition and combinations of uh, firms have uh, one economics objective one or more economic objectives to achieve that objectives holding company is necessary well, then what are they to hold what are that economic objectives that is a uh, product diversification reducing cost through large scale productions then uh, controlling uh, controlling market sharing the raw materials tax benefit these all are the very uh, essential economic objectives so achieving to achieve these all objectives we need for holding companies so uh, let's i will discuss with you that is uh, meaning of holding company so come to the point here hold what does mean by holding company see here in simple term i written here holding company is one holding company is one which holds more than 50 percent of controlling interest in another one company so this is a holding company then subsidiary company is one in which another company holds more than 50 percent of controlling interest in the affairs of the company so this is a subsidiary company for example i will give uh, give you one example that is uh, that is uh, uh, see here a and b there are two companies a holds more than 50 percent of shares in b company that time a company going to becoming as a holding company and in b company a company holds more than 50 percent that time b company becomes a subsidiary company so subsidiary company in which another company holds more than 50 percent here b in b company a company holds more than 50 percent a is a holding company and b is a subsidiary company so according to the accounting standard 21 some definitions are there first one subsidiary company subsidiary company it is an enterprises that has been controlled by another enterprises another enterprises that is controlled by that is the parent company so holding company or parent, uh, or parent company is called as a um, holding company or parent company see here subsidiary company it is controlled by another enterprises then come to the point parent company what does mean by parent company it is an enterprises that has one or more subsidiaries so this is a parent company then group a uh, group is a uh, combination of parent and all its subsidiaries uh, it is called as a group then uh, as per accounting standard 21 calls the holding company as a parent company already i told you that is holding company is also called as a parent company then come to the point that is a types of subsidiary companies there are mainly two types of subsidiary company one it is a wholly owned subsidiary another one is partly owned subsidiary that is a wholly owned subsidiary means here hundred percent are shares are owned by the uh, holding company that is a wholly owned subsidiary 
So see here only owned subsidiary is one in which that the shares of 100% are owned by the holding company and all entire profit of subsidiary companies goes to holding company only because 100% of shares are owned by, owned by the holding company. That time come to the second that is a partly owned subsidiary. The name itself tells what it means. The partly owned subsidiary is in which in one which more than half of the shares are owned by the holding company. Remaining shares are held by outsiders called uh, minority shareholders. For example, see here, H Limited holds 75% of shares in S Limited. That time S Limited is a subsidiary and H Limited is a uh, parent company or holding company. That time H Limited, whatever the uh, profit earns by the S Limited is 75% of profit goes to the H Limited because they hold 75% and remaining part that is a minority interest 25% to the outsiders of the subsidiary company. So this is a partly owned and a fully owned two types of uh, uh, subsidiary companies are there. Then next, group accounts. The uh, uh, What does mean by group? As uh, name itself indicates, group accounts relate to a group of companies as per Indian accounting standard AS21. So group refers to here holding company and subsidiary company, both parent and all its subsidiary. Therefore, group accounts means preparation and presentation of consolidated financial statements of a group. Consolidated financial statements that accounting standard 21 it is related to consolidated financial statement of a holding company and subsidiary company so come to the point uh, another one point that is a document to be attached to the balance sheet of holding company what are the documents are attached in the balance sheet of holding company first as per companies act 12 uh, following document should be attached to the balance sheet of holding companies. First one, a copy of balance sheet of a subsidiary company. Then a copy of its profit and loss account. Then a copy of the report of its board of directors. Then a copy of the report of its auditor. Then a copy of minority interest chart or table. Then the document of a accounting year changed. These all uh, documents we have to attach in the uh, balance sheet of holding company. So some of the major terms which are discussed uh, discussed in further. So see here uh, one important terms today I am going to discuss with you then remaining next class I will discuss first one see here uh, cost of acquisition of shares which is a one of the important term used in the holding company what does mean by cost of acquisition of shares it is an amount of shares purchased by holding company in its subsidiary company so purchased amount it is called as a cost of acquisition for example see here uh, for example if the shares is uh, if the shares is uh, face value has a 10 and but purchased it is a 12 per share so this is a face value and this is a purchased value this is a what in that uh, the difference is treated as a goodwill and the cost of acquisition is a that is a 96,000. This is a uh, cost of acquisition. When in here three items are there. When the uh, shares are purchased as it, more than face value. And when the shares are purchased as a as it is face value. And when the shares are purchased less than the face value. So three things are main important. And the difference between cost of acquisition and nominal value. It is treated as a goodwill. And these uh, goodwill is going to be shown in the consolidated balance sheet of a holding company. See here uh, 80,000 shares. Uh, 8,000 shares rupees 10 each. But purchased at a 12 per share. 
that time 8000 into 12 that is a 96000 this is a cost of acquisition then 8000 into 10 this is a face value 10 that time 80000 it is a face value the difference between these two it is a goodwill 16000 is a goodwill 16000 then uh, if 8000 shares if 8000 shares rupees 10 each and purchase 10 per share same both are same face value same and purchase same that time no goodwill here 80000 and 80000 there is a no goodwill then if the shares are acquired at less than the face value or purchased less than the face value face value is 10 and purchased it as, as 8 per share see here uh, face value is 10 and purchased value is 8 per share that time face value will be 80,000 and the purchased value will be 64,000 the difference is 16,000 will be goes to capital reserve these three types one it is a more than face value equal to face value and less than the face value these three things are going to be calculated in the case of cost of acquisition so this is a main term which is used in the holding company and remaining important terms which are used in the holding company i will discuss in next class okay thank you